can remember is hearing my twin brother's body being barraged by my mother's fists in the basement. He was a mute, barely a ghost, and my mother was like a screaming banshee, a psychotic pterodactyl. My twin could barely make a sound, and his silence fed her piercing anger. My mother treated me fine. He was jealous. My voice made the mad lady tame. And I was a child. How could I know any different? Until one day, my brother killed her. And the last thing I saw was him covered in her blood, walking out of the house. He wants revenge for me being complicit. And every now and then, he finds me. Just take a seat and I'll call somebody. Okay, I'm calling the cop. I'm calling the cop. I'm calling the cop. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll call somebody. Just stay there. Okay. Yes, I'm on the corner of Fountain.
Fear virus. Sorry, virus. Pass. No virus. Hero. No virus. We have everything under our complete control. What force could possibly be strong enough to harness it? Can you control your whole operation by electricity? Of course, no generators, no generators. That means you're getting your power from somewhere on the surface. It must be passing through here. You have heard enough, Dr. Martin. Step inside. All right. What do you want from me? You will have access to advanced information relative to the time and strength of the forthcoming atomic tests. What about it? You will provide us with that information as soon as it is available. I see. We're afraid of an overload. You can't tap enough electricity wherever you get it from to control from a church. You are a clever man, Doctor. Perhaps too clever. And what makes you think I'll give you any information? It is the only way you can save your own life when the time comes. You will be transported to one of our platforms in space and resettled here when our operation is completed. You're asking me to save it.